guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Pineapple Vegan, and where are we? We're not in the kitchen, so we're not doing a cooking video today. Today is actually more of an informative video, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call it, um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little more insight about who I am as a person and what I deal with behind the scenes. I've begun to open up more on my Instagram and Facebook with you guys about my journey as far as veganism and health and fitness and everything. So let's get right into it. I have something called adhesions. And for those of you who do not know what adhesions are, it's basically like scar tissue. A little bit more about adhesions in a second. I'm gonna tell you guys how I ended up getting them. I've grown up with these things called fibroids or what some people would call non-cancerous tumors. I've had them throughout my body my entire life. I had a cyst on my head when I was little, had to have that removed. Come to find out I have them throughout my body. Well, my reproductive organs were covered in cysts. Like both of my ovaries, my uterus kept growing like massive cysts and tumors. And for those of you who don't know what cysts are, they're basically just like, sometimes they're dense, sometimes they're filled with fluid, but they're like these little nodules that grow on different body parts or different organs. So never really know why I got them. I just have them. I have a history of them in my family with the women and some of the men um, in both sides. I've had them my whole life. Um, I lost my right ovary while I was pregnant with my third son. I was six months pregnant and they had to just remove the whole ovary because the cyst grew into the ovary. So there's that, no ovary on that side. Well, fast forward to 2016 and I had a massive tumor inside my uterus and they removed it. I still had issues, so they had to end up taking my uterus. So I don't have a uterus, no babies, yes. <laughs> but um, that's my, that's like my sunny side to a bad situation because I don't have to deal with like menstrual cycles and all that stuff and more babies and everything because I have four kids, so I'm done. I still have cysts on my remaining ovary, but since I've had so many surgeries in the past of having all these cysts removed, I now have what we call adhesions. It's supposed to be really slick on the inside of your body. Like all your organs are supposed to be able to kind of like slip and move around each other. Well, when you expose your internal organs to the air so much, because they're not supposed to be exposed to the air, it dries it out. Your insides become a little sticky. Whereas they're supposed to move and slide all over each other and glide. Mine are stuck. I have like organs that are stuck to each other, scar tissue webbed around my insides and it causes me an extreme amount of pain. So those of you who are local to the DFW area, you know that I used to be a vendor at the Dallas Farmer's Market. And you've got to taste my food and you got to see me every weekend. I was actually able to sell the food that I make for you guys for everybody. And I ended up having to leave because of my adhesions. Some of y'all actually noticed the change. Um, I was very thick you know it's like 145 pounds fine like a real fine apple <laughs> but i slowly started getting more sick the pain became more unbearable i couldn't stand for long periods of time anymore i couldn't work for long periods of time i started to become really dizzy nauseous it just got really bad i still deal with this on a daily basis almost always in pain i'm in pain right now i've just become so used to being in pain that it has become like a part of my everyday life i just kind of fight through it it's been several times where i've been filming recipe videos for you guys and i've just had to go off to the side and just get myself together because when the pain hits me, it literally feels like I'm being stabbed and ripped apart. That's the best way I can describe it. And that's why I don't really work my abs. So those of you who know I'm trying to get back into my fitness journey, I stopped working out because of my health issues. I wasn't able to eat much because not only do I have the adhesions, but it's affecting my digestive system. And I'm assuming it's because the adhesions or my, you know, they might be intertwined in my intestines or something. It limits my mobility. It limits my ability to work out and do certain stretches. So with all this being said, I want you guys to understand that I love what I do. I love cooking for y'all. I love being a mom. I love being a wife and I love working out. 
but this process is so draining and I really am making this video because a lot of people ask me what adhesions are and how does it feel and why don't I work out my abs and why don't I do certain things so and instead of like having to repeat it over and over again I figured I'd just make a video and explain more about it I want to hopefully be able to get back into yoga because it does help and also positive thoughts so I'm trying to get more back into meditation and just just being alone with myself and trying to remain positive and not dwell on the pain and the sadness and the um, the depression that this causes me because it causes me to be in a really dark place sometimes you want to be able to do things that your body is supposed to be able to do and something as small as walking or standing up quickly or going to the bathroom all that stuff is hard for me it's very hard and then you see me on camera happy smiling you see me on my instagram and my videos just everything's fine well i don't want y'all to think that everything is fine i don't want y'all to think it's perfect i don't want y'all to think that my life is just this magical dream but i want you guys to see me get better i want you guys to see me go through this invisible illness and i call it an invisible illness because i don't look sick i don't look like i'm in the amount of pain that i get through like every day i'm in pain every second of every day and i call it an invisible illness also because people don't understand it. If you suffer from adhesions, endometriosis, fibroids, um, pelvic inflammatory disease, any of those type of things, people don't understand that you are hurting. It doesn't look like it because you look fine. But what does sick look like? What does it look like? I want to be the voice. I want you guys to be okay with speaking your truth. And if you're dealing with similar issues, I want to hear about it. Please leave the comments below. I want to hear about all the stuff you're going through and how you get through it and if you are going through similar issues i want to tell you a few of the things that i do like i guess at home remedies to help and for those of you who are wondering well why don't you just go to the doctor why don't you just get help i have my husband and myself we have spent thousands of dollars literal thousands of dollars on different specialists. I've seen urogynecologists, I've seen gynecologists, I've seen digestive specialists. Like I've been everywhere. I've had colonoscopies, endoscopies, countless procedures that I'm not even gonna tell y'all some of the procedures I had to go through because the doctors were unsure. And at this point, it's just a guessing game. And do you know how frustrating it is to go to all these doctors and spend all this money just for them to say, oh, I don't know. Let me send you to this doctor. That's basically what I'm dealing with at this point. I guess I just really wanted you guys to see just a part of the real me and see that it's not just unicorns and glitter. It's much more beyond these lights <laughs> in my kitchen. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep making my videos. I'm gonna get more active in the gym and try to help heal myself spiritually physically mentally everything i want to teach myself how to heal itself and i'm going to keep going to the doctors i'm not going to try to do everything on my own i'm not a professional by no means but i'm going to do my part i'm going to do more of my you know clean eating more of my smoothies because i also struggle with eating because of my illness but i think that with me and y'all we can get through this together because i know i'm not the only one and if you are going through this, speak up. We are gonna get through this together, I promise. I'm gonna update you guys on my progress and things that I'm doing different, things that work, things that don't work. And we're gonna get through this, I promise. We got this. We got this. <laughs> and it, it will be okay. And moving forward, we're gonna keep fighting through everything. We're gonna keep positive and we're not gonna let our issues bring us down anymore and y'all are gonna see a lot more videos as far as my fitness and meal plans and just more of what i'm doing not like the standard hi guys this is my perfect meal in my perfect life no y'all are gonna see some of my lazy meals that i make real quick on the fly just so i can eat you're gonna see my little workouts all that stuff so just stay tuned and i promise i'm gonna be as real and as transparent with you guys as i possibly can and thank you so much for watching this video you guys and if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i'll keep you guys posted i promise i will but we're gonna get through this because we strong and we want to be fit
Have fun. I'm trying to build this booty back up. Let's do that. Let's just get that. If I can get that built back up first, I'll be good. I'll deal with the, the pain later. No. Okay, I'll fix this first and then build the booty up. No. It's a booty gonna get built somewhere in this process. It's gonna come back. Twerk it, twerk, twerk. Twerk it, twerk it. I'm twerking. Babe, don't start. Mm. Mm. It was not a twerk. Mm -mm. I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, twerk it, twerk it, twerk. It was just a, mm -mm. a twerk. There was no W in that twerk. It was a work twerk. <laughs> it was just a twerk. There was no what work. the heck? That's me. There was no work, and there was no twerk. It was literally just a twerk or a twerk. You don't like er, me? You er, don't. Er, er. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't like it? Just touch it. Touch it. With one finger? Really? <laughs> touch it on the screen. Oh, rub it. 